Hi, boys and girls. You know, we live in a busy world. So many things are happening. There's big things, little things, but they're all actually pretty important. Hey, look, we've come to the Johnsons' house. And what are they doing? It looks like they're all watching TV. They're all looking like they're paying a lot of attention. And, and look at Sally there. She's so interested that she's standing right in front of the TV. Something important must be going on. I think we're going to hear about that. So, so that we can do that, you need to look up. Look way up. Hi again, boys and girls, and again, it's really nice to see you. I think it's time for us to look for Sally and see if we can learn what was going on uh, in their living room. Okay? Sally? Oh, hi. Hi, Pastor Bruce. Today, Pastor Bruce, I have very, very mixed emotions, Pastor. Oh, really? Well, tell, tell me about it. Well, at the beginning of the week, I was very excited. Mm -hmm. I heard that they named a storm after me. Oh, yes. They did. It's called Hurricane Sally. Yes, that's in the news right now. That's right. Hurricanes are awesome. And I was, and, and they're so strong. So I felt a bit proud. I was excited that Hurricane Sally was coming. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, Sally, that you understand exactly everything about hurricanes. Yeah, well, now I heard in the news that people have all kinds of flooding and their homes are ruined. And I feel bad for them. Those people, they didn't know what was coming and that their houses wouldn't be strong enough and to think that I was proud of being Hurricane Sally. Yeah, well, hurricanes are incredibly powerful and pretty scary, but you didn't know that at first. That's right. I oh, I wish that I could learn something about my pride. It would help me feel much better. Yeah, there are lessons that you can learn here, Sally. Sally. You know, it kind of reminds me of a story that Jesus told. Oh, which story is that, Pastor Bruce? Well, I think you've heard this story before. It's the story of the wise and the foolish builder. Oh, I remember the wise man had a good house and the foolish man washed away in the storm. That foolish man, he should have asked a good builder just to help him a bit. Yeah, yeah, that foolish builder, he didn't do it right, that's for sure. And it caused all kinds of grief for him. But the wise builder, he built his house right so he could um, not get destroyed by the storm. Pastor Bruce, why did Jesus tell us a lesson about building houses? Well, because it's about actually a lot more than houses. Oh, what's that then, Pastor Bruce? It's about building your life on a firm foundation. Oh, that makes sense. You mean, is Jesus the firm foundation? And if I build my house on Jesus, I can be even stronger than the hurricane? That's right. With his help, you're going to be okay, thanks to Jesus. Oh, that's good to know. That helps me a bit, but I still feel bad about being so prideful. Do you think God will forgive me for that? Well, that's one of the wonderful things about God. When we ask him for forgiveness, he is so happy to do that. When you ask for forgiveness, you are forgiven. 
Oh, thank you, Pastor Bruce. I'm, I'm going to ask for forgiveness, and then I'm going to be like the wise builder. Well, that's great, and I have every confidence that that's exactly what you're going to do. But before I go away, I did want to say one thing to you, Sally. What's that, Pastor? You know. I do, but I like to hear it anyways. The Lord be with you. And also with you.